This video is going to talk about generating specifications and how to do that from your costing screen. We're also going to have a look at editing the specifications and adding images, as well as how to use them for exclusions, which is something we get asked about quite a bit. So we're in our specifications screen and I've got two items in my specs already. The items I've got here have this little lock symbol next to it, which means that the item came from the estimate or estimate costings more specifically. To say it another way, this came here or is here because I used the S button within my costings. So we're going to go back and quickly just add a few more. So say that one. I find the S button a really good filter uh, of all the estimate costings that you've got in here, and it allows you to filter it down to just the things that the client uh, will actually care about. So I've got that one already. Grab a few others. One thing um, that we do get asked about from time to time is, hey, can I, there's, there's a lot of items in this in this template or in the stock build exact templates, can I drop in items that don't have a cost? Which sounds a bit funny at first, but the answer is yes, you absolutely can. And the scenario is that like I've got in this electrical category, I've just got one quote from a trade, but I might want to explain to the client what all they're getting. And I can use these items to say, Mr. Client, this includes the disconnect and rewire, uh, connection fees, uh, light point, etc., 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 and this can be a great little shortcut just to steal descriptions. So even though you didn't price them, the price is actually down here, and you're just telling the client what's included. Just know that that is entirely possible. I'll grab just a handful more of items, and I'll quickly go put dollars and quantities against this. As always, purely example figures. Get rid of that. Lovely. So if I go back to specs now, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of things. Now that it's here, I can reorder them using the little dots. I can delete them if I don't like them. I can add more categories if I wanna customize it further. I can go into each category and add more items. So a great uh, example might be appliances to say, you know, installed by qualified electrician. And you can make it whatever you like. A very common thing for people to do here is add images. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm going to click on this little image box uh, and I, you may not have noticed, but I popped it into edit mode by, uh, I actually double clicked on it, but you could click on this little blue edit pen, does the exact same thing. Did that and then I clicked on this and it'll pop open to go and find some images. So I'm gonna grab them from here. So this is for my cooktop. I'm just gonna throw in a handful, throw in one for the oven. And I mean, I think this looks fantastic. I think it takes your quote up an extra notch. And I also have the opinion that there are a number of um, preventable kind of pain points with clients that are around communication. And something as simple as a photo of, hey, this is what it looks like, um, can prevent further headaches down the track where they when they walk in and go, oh, I didn't realize it was gonna look like that. Um, so photos are a really easy way to just avoid a couple of future problems. So I'll throw some of them in. I actually don't want that. I'll get rid of that. One final thing just on the specs is it's very common to see people use this for exclusions. So what I'm saying here is this list is obviously a list of inclusions first and foremost. But um, at the bottom of it, or at some point throughout, it's not uncommon at all for people to have a couple of items that are not included in the build. And um, the main thing is just getting it listed somewhere, and this is a great place to do it. So whether it be, hey, look, we don't include the new curtains, or we don't include 
um, the letterbox or, or whatever you like, this is not a bad spot at all to be putting that kind of stuff. When we go through to print the quote, you'll see actually what these uh, look like uh, on the quote and how they present. But the long story short is that ultimately whatever shows in the specification screen, uh, you will have the option to present that in your quote. And this section really is intended to be a, um, hey, Mr. Client, this is what's included for the price kind of section. So it's supposed to be very descriptive and very customer friendly. Um, much more so than the estimate costing section. Great, thanks very much.